Back at Spencer's shed, the boys get started on the darts. It's amazing what a nice straight little shard bamboo will make when you split it up, you know? You got something to make your darts with, or do you need some of this bamboo stuff? No, I'm gonna use these twigs right here. So what kind of darts are you making? Cone darts. What you using for a cone? River birch bark. The boys' darts will work similarly, with a flexible obstruction at the dart's end creating a seal within the tube. The cotton Spencer is using and the cone shape Eugene is using will plug the tube so that no air will pass by the dart, allowing the dart to slide forward in the tube. Spencer and I are both using slightly different techniques for building our blowguns. Now, my sumac pole and my cone dart is a lot stronger than his because the compressed air behind the cone dart is a lot more powerful. I'm using cotton on this dart because it's the force of air behind the dart that shoots it out of the blowgun. And if you don't have something that'll expand and take up the shape of that tube, you don't have a dart and you don't have a blowgun. North Carolina's Cherokee Nation were very skilled at using blowguns and darts. They didn't use poison on their darts when they were hunting small game because they didn't want to contaminate the meat. I got a little bit of this pine sap I'm gonna use. Oh, nice. Put it over here on the fire and melt it. You gonna use that like a glue? Yeah. The boys work late into the night crafting their darts. That's pretty good. Yeah, that one's look coming along nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I do is I put a little bit of pine sap on there and wrap the birch bark around it into a cone and then tie it with a little bit of thread. Mm -hmm. And that makes a great cone dart. Like this. Mm -hmm. So if I can get the spider venom on that. It's good. And shoot him in the haunch with it. I'll have that squirrel. Yeah, we gotta have the squirrel by tomorrow evening. Shoot, I'm ready, man. I need some venom for my darts. <laughs> 